yeah, this is a good, quick, easy meal. You should be able to make this in 20 minutes or less. I'm gonna dust my meats. Cream of mushroom. Mm, doesn't that look yummy? Yeah. Simmer, simmer down. That would be gravy, right? So, if you drink, wow, that was tight. Welcome to my world. And there you have it. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, tonight, I wanted to do something pretty easy. No, it is easy, it's very easy. I had a pack of beef tips in my freezer in here that I need to do something with. And a lot of times I don't know what to do with beef tips, you know, just beef tips and gravy. Um, but tonight I'm gonna use them to make stroganoff. I'm also missing one key ingredient to stroganoff, which would be mushrooms. So I'm gonna make it sans, sans, without mushrooms, and it's still gonna be fine. <laughs> but I will put mushrooms in the ingredient list and if you have them go for it i don't even have like a little can of mushrooms i'm i'm striking out but anywho this is what we're doing and uh yeah this is a good quick easy meal you should be able to make this in 20 minutes or less so here we go the stars of this show are gonna be beef tips i uh <laughs> Oopsie daisy. I just thaw these out in the microwave, which I don't recommend doing because you see they got partially cooked. Uh, yeah, do better. Put them in the fridge or leave them sitting out till they thaw out or whatever. But that's what we've got. It's going to be fine. Some onion, a little flour for dusting, egg noodles, cream and mushroom soup. I'm also going to use, hold on. I'm also going to use some beef broth base. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. I use the ham. There's a ham version. It's powder. See, it's like powder. And you mix two teaspoons per one cup of water to make one cup of broth. Of course, I don't typically measure it. I just put some in there and stir it up, but it works really good for broth. So I don't have to keep cans of broth around. This works great. Um, I use the ham seasoning in all of my vegetables now. So when I cook green beans, filled peas and snaps, butter beans, all those kind of things, I put the ham seasoning in it. It's great. Collard greens. It's amazing. It, it's been a life changer. I'm sure there's other varieties. This is what I use. This is what I can find. This is what we have at the pig, and it works great. So, shout out to Orrington Farms. Where are they? I don't know. I don't know where they are, but anyway, it's good stuff. Okay, and I'm also going to use some musket powder and a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. Uh, yeah, so let's get cooking. You can tell Bonnie is, <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie has it rough today. Bonnie, you know what you have right here? Bonnie has paint. She has paint on her from yesterday. We made a little bit of a mess in here, didn't we, Shovel? Yes, we did. So we got it done. <laughs> okay, excuse me, I digress. So I'm gonna use a little butter and a little olive oil. I don't know, a couple tablespoons of each. Put a light. Ooh, there she goes. All right. I'm gonna let that melt and then we're gonna put our onion in and saute it. If you had fresh mushrooms, you could chop them up and put them in here and do that with that as well. You could also use a little garlic. Hey, let's do that. I basically never buy whole garlic. I just buy it like this. This version, the already minced version. It's a lot less work and it's still garlic, so yeah. Let's do that. I'd probably use more onion than maybe some people would, <laughs> but I like onions. I like cooked onions anyway. So, you don't have to use this many onions. A small onion, half of a small onion. If you like onions, go for it. If you don't love onions, then don't use as much. But anyway, to each their own. All right, we're gonna let them do their thing. Okay, I have my beef tips here. 
And I considered putting them in the Instapot and letting them cook there and then just mixing it all up, but I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna do it like this. But since some of the pieces are kind of big, I'm gonna go through and cut some of them up just a little bit more just to make sure that they're bite size. Okay? And then we're gonna dust. We're gonna dust. Oh man, that really did get cooked. Meh. It'll be all right. You could also, you could also use like beef or stew. Um, I'm just gonna get down on my knees here. You could also use beef or stew for this. I've done that before and cut it up. You could also use like sirloin steak or something if you wanted to do that, but I prefer to save my steak for actual steak. And sirloin, I prefer to save for fajitas. I don't know why, it's just my favorite cut to use for fajitas. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna stand back up now so I can see better what I'm doing. <laughs> are looking good. Yeah, buddy. Smelling good too. Okay, I took the onions and garlic out and now we're going to do the meat. So, I'm going to sprinkle it with some red label musket powder. If you don't have musket powder, why though? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, you could also use seasoning salt or your own favorite seasoning whatever that is but this is what I like so this is what I'm using and then I'm going to take this really old crazy looking little I think it's actually a tea strainer but I use it for dusting and I'm going to get a little flour and I'm going to dust it I'm going to dust my meats with some flour okay and then I'm going to put a little more butter in here and we're gonna let that melt y'all I'm having um, I'm having meltdown issues with my phone today so I'm having to stop and start again anyway it's all good okay so we have our meat dusted and now we're just gonna put it in here we're gonna put it in here if it'll come off the little thingamajiggy okay and we're gonna let that saute and I'm gonna have to re-clean my stove. It's all good, it's all good. We're gonna let this saute and get brown. Then we're gonna add the onions back and the other goodness. The problem with my phone is me. It's the, it's because I don't clean it out. I don't clean it off or clean it out enough and I had 8,000 videos. So, I've deleted about 3,000. I'm just really bad about not, not deleting after I transfer to my computer and my external hard drive. So, yeah. Welcome to my world. Okay, now that that is pretty well browned, we're going to put the onions and the garlic and the pretend mushrooms back in there. And we're going to dump in our cream of mushroom. Mm, doesn't that look yummy? Yeah. And then we're going to put about that much of that in there. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to fill this up. Oh, make a mess with water. And we're going to make our beef broth like so. Uh -huh. We're going to pour that in. We're going to stir it all up. Where's my spoon? Hmm. Get a new one. Um, we're going to stir this up. We're going to put a lid on it. And we're going to let it saute. Simmer. Simmer. Simmer down. We're going to let it simmer down. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 20 minutes or so. And then we're going to top it off with some sour cream. I forgot to say that in the beginning. We need sour cream. And guess what I'm low on? Sour cream. So I'm gonna put the amount in the recipe. I'm gonna use what I have, but you really wanna use about a cup or so. Uh, I don't have a cup or so. So, it's still gonna be fine. 
It might not be as creamy as, as I would like it, but it's still gonna work. Alrighty, we're gonna let that do its thing for a little while. And I'll see you in a bit. One thing I don't have that I wish I had was lids for my cast iron skillets. I have looked online, I cannot find them if they exist. I cannot find them, but I do have lids for other pots that fit a couple of my cast iron skillets, so that's what I use. Clean that bad boy this weekend too. Look at there. I can like see myself in it. Hmm. Barkeeper's friend. Do you know that tip? I have found some cleaning tips lately on Instagram. Barkeeper's friend. Work like a charm. So we're gonna put a lid on that and let it simmer on low. And then we're gonna get our water boiling and cook our egg noodles. Okay, you're also gonna wanna come back, you're gonna check on it. You're gonna wanna check on your stroganoff and you're gonna wanna stir it up. I wish I could talk today. And you're gonna wanna stir it a little bit because it might get stuck on the bottom a little bit. See all those chunks, chunks of the soup? They disappear, y'all, it's all good. Now you could put, let me tell you something you could do if that bothers you. You could put the cream of mushroom soup and the beef broth in a separate bowl and you could whisk it together until it was smooth and then you could pour it on top of your meat. You could do that and that would be great. That would be gravy, right? Uh, but it would be another bowl to wash and I'm not much on having to wash more than I actually have to, so I didn't do that. But you can, you can. And also in other news, it's supper time. And guess what? There was one tiny iota of tea left in this pitcher. I get really upset when people put the tea pitcher back in the refrigerator with a swallow left. Anyway, here it is. I'm drinking it. So, the good news is I don't have to scurry and make tea while I'm trying to cook supper tonight because I have tea starter. Did you see that video? If you drink Wow, that was tight. If you drink sweet tea, you need this in your life. I will link to it right here. You can find it on my channel. Uh, we're gonna pour the starter in. We're gonna fill it the rest of the way up with water and guess what? We have tea. Cheers. And there you have it. Beef stroganoff. And some noodles that I've already drained a little bit. I drain them and leave just a little bit of water in there until supper is ready. And it keeps them moist, for lack of a better word. And, uh, yeah, you could also put some butter on there to keep them, well, moist and delicious. Why didn't I do that? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, hindsight. Okay, supper's ready. Wait, no, it's not ready. I forgot about the sour cream. I'm always bad when you have to add something at the end, I forget sour cream. This is all I have. This is all I have in my house. So, because we use a lot of sour cream and when I went to the grocery store the last time, there's evidently a shortage on sour cream. I bought two small containers. That's all they had. So, anyway, I'm going to put the rest of this in there, stir it up, and then supper is going to be ready. And now, the only thing left to do is eat. Have a cooking.